Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Eve and today I'll be reviewing the Louis Vuitton Alma BB handbag. This is the latest handbag to my collection and it's one that I purchased about two weeks ago. If you're not familiar with the handbag, this is what it looks like. It's the BB size, which is the smallest size. I got it in the denier and bean print with the treated leather. I specifically purchased this bag because of the size and because of the treated leather. It's been raining recently in Melbourne quite a bit, so I was unable to really enjoy my other purchase, which is the Monogram Speedy 25 Bandolier. So um, because of that, I found myself browsing the YouTube looking for another Louis Vuitton bag um, that was comparable in size that I could just take to the supermarket or for short coffee dates where I wouldn't have to worry about the weather. And I feel so far the Alma BB was the perfect choice. So one thing I love about this bag is it's very small, so it's easy for um, everyday use, especially now that I'm not going into the office for work. Um, the only time I leave the house is to the supermarket, um, as well as coffee dates or running errands. So in this case, I found myself grabbing my phone, my wallet, and my key pouch um, in separate pieces and stuffing them in my pockets, um, which wasn't really secure. I always felt like it was going to drop out of the pocket. So I wanted to find a small bag that I would just enjoy, enjoy using um, for those everyday um, purposes. So with the Alma BB, it comes with the two, um, two handles. As you can see here, it's gold hardware. I absolutely love the zippers on these bags. They're very smooth, so I'll just show you quickly. Um, so with the zippers, it's very, very smooth. The opening is quite wide, um, and you've got the red in interior. This is my first Demir Ibin handbag. Um, I'm actually a huge fan of the monogram. I've never owned an Ibin piece. Um, all my SLGs and all my handbags are in the monogram. So I was a little concerned about how I would feel about the Demir Ibin. So if you're like me and you lean towards the monogram, um, I think you'll still be really happy with purchasing the Alma BB in the Ibin print. I feel like it's more timeless. And because this bag is a timeless and classic piece, it will hold its value and its structure maintains its shape very well, it's probably best to get the Ebeen. So if you ever do change your mind, it will have an excellent resale value, which is another reason that I purchased this in this print. Um, I won't tell you all the measurements or show you the interior. I think it's very self-explanatory and you can find all that information on the Louis Vuitton website. Um, but I must say it does fit everything that I want within it. It fits my phone, my key pouch, which is monogram, um, it fits a hand sanitizer, some mints, and um, a reusable bag in case I go to the shops. So this is perfect for everyday use. It also comes with a detachable strap, which is not adjustable. I do find it a little bit long, but it doesn't really bother me. I prefer to wear it cross body, but it looks really, really cute handheld. Um, although not as comfortable, it just looks so good handheld. So. I highly recommend holding it this way as well, even with the strap dangling. It looks really, really beautiful. Um, this bag, I believe I got it for 2,080 Australian dollars, um, which is quite a lot for a small bag, but it is one of the cheaper um, luxury bags that Louis Vuitton has. It's definitely cheaper than the Speedy Bandoliers. I was looking at getting a second Speedy Bandolier in a size 30 in the Demi Bean. But if I was to get that bag, it would be to go to work. Um, and at the moment, since we're not going into the office for work, I didn't find it was a priority for me. So I've been enjoying this bag for the last two weeks. I've worn it maybe four or five times now, every time I've gone out. I really, really do love it. Um, if there was any con with this bag, or at least there's one worry that I have, is on the handles, because it's treated leather, um, there is a little bit of wrinkling where they've bent the the leather around the handle, I'll just show you. It's on the inside and it's hardly noticeable. Um, so what I thought I'd do is, uh, and it's not the same on both handles, it's just one. So what I thought I'd do is I'd monitor it for a year. It does have a one year warranty on these bags. So 
if the wrinkling gets worse or I start to see um, cracking, which I've heard can happen, then I will be returning it to the Louis Vuitton store to see if they can replace the handle or replace the bag. But I've also heard that the wrinkling um, sometimes is just part of the design and it usually doesn't get worse. So I really hope that's the case with my bag. But otherwise, I have no other concerns with this bag. I absolutely adore it. Um, it's really easy to clean. If there's a little scuff at the bottom, I take in a baby wipe just to wipe it off and um, it's been completely fine. It's beautiful. There's no damage whatsoever so far. And I usually don't store this one away because I'm using it every day, but I do put it on its dust bag um, so the feet don't get scratched. I do baby my bags a little bit. Um, that's just who I am and how I am. Um, but I've also heard on YouTube that if people who don't baby their bags um, also find this bag really uh, wearable. So um, I hope this helps you decide if this bag is for you and your lifestyle. Um, it's definitely not meant to be stuffed and not meant to be one of those bags where you're um, out for a whole day when you need a water bottle or a jumper or an umbrella because that's not going to fit in here. But it's for short um, outings and everyday errands. This is the perfect bag to add to your collection. So I highly recommend the Alma BB. So I hope you found that useful. Um, like if you like this video, subscribe if you want to hear more um, videos like this. But um, otherwise, thanks for your time. Have a great day.